So this is the full size bed that does not require folding before it's before you're ready to hit the road. So basically you can just roll out in the morning and drive away. Now I'm going to attach the rear cargo box with our cooking supplies, but if you were just on a road trip and weren't planning on cooking, or if you just had a small backpacking stove and and some miscellaneous things that you could use to uh, cook a quick meal or quick breakfast, you wouldn't need the rear cargo box either. So this is designed for the person that's traveling and not necessarily uh, camping along the way, but uh, you could uh, you could do it either way with a roof rack or with a rear cargo box. On the bottom left there's a couple folding chairs and a folding table and that's the Everest camp stove on the right. So we get a lot of questions about our cook kit and this is a, a little example of what we take along for our minivan camping trips. We've had several different configurations of this. Uh, if we have the rear kitchen in the minivan then of course all this fits in the drawers. But on this particular trip, we're using the rear cargo tote. So we have the kitchen packed up in three inexpensive totes from the dollar store that are sealed and that keeps everything clean and dust free. So in the first tote here, we've got the miscellaneous cooking supplies, spatulas, koozies, knife sharpener, salt and pepper, measuring cups, tin foil, paper towels. On top of that I've got a small cutting board that fits in. On top of that fits a silverware tray and between the two of us we have a couple forks, a couple spoons, several knives. Uh, this is the handle for our cook kit, matches, and measuring spoons and so on. And that's all that we take for utensils. And on this one we have small three pot nesting cook kit, a couple of bowls for cereal in the morning, a little folding frying pan, some paper plates, and that fits in there. The lids up here. One thing I learned by trial and error is that you have to have something underneath each one of these pots because they have a non-stick surface. So I've got a little piece of shelf liner underneath there. Otherwise the vibration rubs the, the non-stick surface off. So lots of lots of microfiber towels. This is just a miscellaneous packet. There's some uh, mantles for our Coleman uh, lantern which we rarely ever take but uh, strike anywhere matches and a couple extra lighters. This is our sink. Two bowls from the dollar store. One for washing, one for rinsing. Lifetime supply of dish soap, dish scrubber. Filters for our high-tech percolator. Container of coffee and a measure. And that's all there is to that. We have a Everest camp stove that runs on the little one pound uh, propane containers and I've got about a dozen of those and and uh, about once a year I refill those and uh, so they last last forever and one of those one of those one pound containers usually lasts us for the full weekend of camping so let me show you how that all fits into the rear cargo box. So if your choice is the full-length bed without the rear kitchen, whether it's just for occasional use or this is your your normal setup, the easiest option is a rear cargo carrier and there are lots of options available some that are upwards of 900 to to $1,000. This is my 
alternative. This is a raised cargo carrier that gives you lots of ground clearance. You can see by the mud that we've been on some back roads. But this is a cargo carrier that extends backward and then upward from the two inch receiver hitch. And then there's a waterproof box on the top. And that's got more than enough room for all our miscellaneous camping supplies. So the bed is inside, coolers inside, uh, lots of our daily um, supplies, miscellaneous camping supplies, our clothing and so on. But then everything else that we only need once we get to the campsite is in the back. So let me show you how that works. The cargo box is four feet wide, so it's within the width of the taillights, not blocking anything there. And inside here I've got a plastic dish pan, and that's where I stack up the one pound propane bottles. There's enough room in there for five or six, which would get you be enough for a month on the road. So it's only partially full. On this particular trip I filled the rest of this empty space with scraps of firewood. But then I made a PVC frame and that just supports the next layer. And then on the bottom I have the tail veil. Or if we're going on a longer base camp I would put our full-size 10 by 10 tent in there and actually there would be just barely enough room to squeeze both, both of them side by side or I could stick one of them under the bed. There's still plenty of room for that. And then our dollar store totes just fit in here. have a rack that fits fits on top of that too but that's all there is to it so everything is double sealed the cargo box is waterproof plastic so nothing can hurt that rubber made and then the totes fit on there and each one of those has a lid so that they're completely sealed and then the tote is latched and secured with a padlock so that's all your camping supplies. Just unhook that, pop it off the hitch, and you're ready to camp for the night.